Hello everybody and welcome back to LEGO Empire and in today's video I'm going to be talking about whether or not LEGO Star Wars sets are just getting too expensive in 2023 and soon to be 2024. So without further ado, let's get into this. So starting off, I just want to say most LEGO Star Wars sets nowadays are not priced outrageously, right? There are only a few sets that vary a bit from the bunch, but what really led me to create this video was the price increase for micro fighters from $10 to $13, and we're seeing this with the Captain Rex micro fighter that is rumored for summer of 2024. Today, I'm simply going to be talking about why I think micro fighters should not be a whopping $13. Or if you're new to the LEGO Star Wars theme in general, basically, LEGO Star Wars has been having micro fighters for the past, you know, over a decade at this point, and they've always been a very cheap set that you can get fan favorite characters in as well as a small little micro build and it is specifically uh, for people with lower uh, budgets such as young kids who want their favorite characters but don't want to buy you know that huge hundred dollar plus set that comes with the figure otherwise and so for the past you know decade or so micro fighters have been an awesome way to get fan favorite characters but now they have had a price increase of three dollars now is a price increase of three dollars going to price out most kids no, it's not. But should micro fighters really see a price increase by almost 30%? I don't think so. Uh, why don't I think so? Well, just take a look at battle packs nowadays. And battle packs recently got a price increase from $15 to $20 a few years ago. Um, however, I think it just uh, doesn't make sense, right? If you take a micro fighter, which is $13, and a classic battle pack nowadays, which is $20, let's compare the Rex micro fighter to the Mandalorian battle pack, for example. What do we get? All right. So for $13 in the Captain Rex's Y Wing micro fighter, you get a very nice Captain Rex minifigure and a small micro Y Wing build. And then for the Mandalorian battle pack, you get four separate figures and Two of them have new molds, presumably, which I think adds on to the cost a lot, but even though it probably adds the cost to put a new mold into production, LEGO has still kept it at that $20 price point for the set, and then in the set we will also get two new Mandalorian minifigures. So for $20, you're getting four figures and one or two small builds. For $13, you're getting one small build and one minifigure. It just really doesn't make sense at that point. I mean. You could make the argument that a $10 micro fighter still was overpriced because in battle packs, technically they cost $5 a figure now. So a micro fighter is technically $5 overpriced, even sitting at the $10 price point. But I would argue that micro fighters usually come with named characters that wouldn't really show up in battle packs. But nowadays you have named characters showing up in battle packs constantly, as we saw with the 332nd battle pack and now with the Mandalorian battle pack. So what's the point of even getting a micro fighter anymore? And I know for the Captain Rex micro fighter specifically, people will buy it because it's the Captain Rex from the Venator, and it is a very cheap way for a lot of people to get a fan favorite character that we haven't seen in a decade. But still, for micro fighters after Captain Rex, imagine a micro fighter comes out with the Stormtrooper. Are you gonna make a kid pay $13 for a Stormtrooper and some micro build? That just doesn't seem right to me. I think Lego should just start bringing back those blister packs, and instead of putting army builder figures, you should put named characters. I'm not the first person to say this. A lot of people think LEGO should be making more blister packs and utilizing them for LEGO Star Wars, but they should not have army buildable figures because then they sell out very quick and it is hard to get your hands on them as we saw with the first uh, kind of wave of blister packs, even though we really got two, can't really count it as a wave. But seriously, when you look at the value of a $13 micro fighter to a $20 battle pack, it just does not line up at all. And that's pretty much all I have to say about that. I'm not really upset or super passionate about this because I usually don't buy micro fighters anyway. And even if a micro fighter comes out with a figure I want, I just buy the figure separately on Bricklink for like four or five dollars. And it's a good deal. But you know, I'm not really upset about this. It's just an interesting topic to bring up and how it doesn't really make sense to me. But what do you guys think? Tell me in the com comments below if you think $13 is fair for any micro fighter, not just Captain Rex specifically, because I know many people will say, you know, it's better than paying six. $650 for the UCS Venator, I'd like to get Captain Rex in a cheaper set. I understand that, but what about any other character in a micro fighter? Would you realistically want to pay $13 instead of $10 for that? Let me know in the comments below, and let me know in the comments below also what you think about these new uh, sets coming out in June, August, May. Just tell me in the comments below which one is your favorite, and that would mean a lot. I would all be 
I will be replying and hearting like every single comment I see on this video. So make sure to leave your comment down below. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like. And with that being said, I will see you all in the next video. Have an amazing day. Peace out.